Are you a hungry boy? Are you ready to eat? Come on, let's go eat. Let's go. Are you hungry, Levi? I fed everybody else. It's just you and your brother. That's all that's remaining. You hungry? Oh, that's a dirty lens. Hello, everybody. Clean that lens off. Uh-oh, hope it's not smudgy. May edit that part out. Welcome to Thursday. Uh, today, Wednesday, was a very good but very busy day. And I'm kind of hoping that today's, what am I doing? Today's um, vlog is gonna be kind of a short one, just kind of an update and saying hello to you all. And then I'll kind of see you tomorrow. Let me get the food ready here. Get a little extra today. They're gonna get these eggs. So let's see if I can do this one handed here. Oh, he's excited. Well, that was not a good one, but that'll work. Here, can you lick off, lick my fingers clean? Hmm? Be that good? Well, we know that wasn't very thorough, but it's okay. That'll work. I'll wash them in a little second here. All right, you a hungry boy? Hmm, you hungry? Come on, you ready? Eat. Oh, good boy. Good boy. Give this to Levi. So today I had some friends come over. They were here about 10 o'clock and left about one. Oh, here you go, buddy. You gonna eat? Are you gonna eat? Go ahead. Don't let the chickens eat it. Don't let the chickens eat it. So they were here uh, for the three hours. I need to wash my hands, I'll be right back. Okay, sorry. So they were here for the three hours until about one o'clock. We did the normal property tour, showing them all around, going down to the creek, showing the old foundation, all the barns, all that kind of stuff, uh, which was great. Excellent to see them again. Um, it was an old coworker and his wife, and then another one of my friends who was an old coworker, but he's been out here several times uh, to help me, but he's never been in a video because he doesn't want to be. So anyway, we did the tour and it was good to catch up and just chat about things. On the way back, we were coming back uh, into the fenced area and Levi and Winston decided that they didn't want to go into the fenced area. Instead, they decided that they were going to go into the space between where the fenced area is and the fence between me and our neighbor, Rita and Howie, and explore in there a little bit. And then Levi decided he was gonna crawl underneath the barbed wire and go into my neighbor's yard. So that became a little bit of an ordeal. Had to get myself over the fence, chase Levi down in their field, and then somehow get Levi back over the fence. He's 95 pounds and He's just pure dead weight when he doesn't want to be lifted up. <laughs> so that really drained a lot of my energy. I got him back over. Uh, everything was fine. Uh, my neighbors saw that it happened. They were okay with it. Their dogs were uh, in their fenced area and no harm, no foul, but man, <laughs> oh geez. So now it sounds like anytime I take the dogs down to the creek, I'm gonna to have to put them on a leash and make sure to leash them up on the way back and make sure that they go into the confined fenced area. Otherwise, these guys aren't gonna be able to go down to the creek anymore. So, and then after my friends left, I continued working on the uh, brooder. I got pretty good progress. Tomorrow I have to go into town and get a couple items. But basically I got um, the framing, the, whoops, the frame done. And I'm just trying to figure out how I'm gonna do some of the sides and stuff. And so I'm just gonna playing with, playing with plywood here, seeing how it is all gonna work out. But I got the, I used the three 
screen doors as the sides and the bottom and a fourth screen door is going to be the top. I need to add sides. I'm probably going to do a plywood panel here. Something that looks nice but it's cheap. Uh, maybe plexiglass if that's cheaper. Maybe sheet metal if that's cheaper. I, I just don't know. I'll figure it out tomorrow. My friend suggested that I look into door skin. Basically uh, interior door has its framing and then has a really thin layer of basically plywood, really nice plywood. It's called door skin, I guess. It's like between two to five millimeters thick. So if they have some door skin. I might use that for the sides here, you know, maybe even the ends. And then I need to make a, a divider. And I still haven't figured out how I'm going to make the bottom so it holds all of the bedding but can remove the bedding, clean it out fairly easily. So I'm still kind of thinking through that. I may just put a bottom on it for now so I can get those chicks out. And when those chicks graduate to a coop, then take it apart and figure out how to um, be easy to clean. So I'm really happy with it. I think it looks really nice. I'm trying to do my best to like, you know, line up the screws and make them the same on all the corners. I kind of made a mistake on this one here, but at least that mistake's on both sides. But yeah, see so like line up the, the screws so they are all in a line and doing, you know, same color. I'll probably end up staining this. I don't know, maybe not. I'm not gonna put too much effort into it, but I am trying to have some fun with it and uh, make it functional, make it look nice. I'll probably put it on wheels so it can roll around. Anyway, kind of kind of cool stuff. So an update on yesterday's activity with the uh, large predator or whatever I saw out there. I'm still sticking to the fact that it was a, a mountain lion, even though I can't confirm that because I put trail cams out. Um, I actually borrowed an extra one from my neighbor and I put our uh, UFI security cameras pointing in the area that I saw them, it and didn't capture anything on video last night. So I actually moved the trail cam um, over to the one that I borrowed over to the red barn area because the dogs have been barking like crazy uh, at night over there. So we'll see if we capture anything. But as of now, I have no evidence of what it was. And uh, I'm hoping to either never have this happen again or to capture it on on an image so I know exactly what it is and what I can deal with or what I have to deal with. And there's been a few comments that have been really helpful. I really like the idea that over by the uh, chicken area over here where they would have had, where that predator can, can get to, mowing down all of this vegetation on this fence line here back quite a bit so it's, uh, so they can't just sneak up. So I'll probably end up, well, I will end up mowing some of this to, to open it up a bit. So, but other than that, things are business as usual. And tomorrow will be the same. I have a doctor appointment tomorrow that I'll go to. Then I'll go into town and get um, some materials for the brooder. Hopefully finish it up enough to where I can move those chicks into the brooder. And then, uh, I think that'll probably be it for the day. If I'm done with that, then I'll move on to some more checklist items that I have going on. Babies are doing really well with Mama Hen here, with Betty Jane. The two babies that, uh, or the two eggs that I put into the incubator and that hatched, I did put them underneath her last night. She took them, no problem, had no issues with them. And so those two are integrated here somewhere. She has, I think I counted eight babies. And I thought maybe she would have done something with them and put them up here and left them to die or something, but nope, she took them in and we got a bunch of healthy chicks and they're down here scratching away. So tomorrow this chicken tractor will move. So they have some fresh grass to play in. And, and then uh, in a couple days, I'll probably end up extending this so they have access to um, like maybe take that run 
and attach it to that so they have some more area to play with. I don't know, we'll see. Kind of the plan, but so that's the HAPS. Really kind of a short update. Uh, I did, oh yeah, and then I also did, um, gave the sheep some, uh, another net just a little bit ago. It's actually really cute because um, when I was moving the netting, a piece fell down to the ground and Sophia jumped over it. So she was out of the netting and the three other girls kind of went crazy. And Sophia was just kind of walking around. Well, Levi and Winston saw that and they actually herded her back over to the netting area and got her back into the net. That was super cool. And I wish I would have had that on, on video because it was really cool to see them in action just doing that. I don't know if that's exactly what they intended to do. It looked like they were having more fun playing than really hurting, but the end result was got Sophia back in the net, expanded the net, got them a new expanded paddock, and now they're happy. So, uh, did you guys finish? Let me just check so I can let Kinsley out. If you remember, we make sure that Kinsley is inside when Levi and Winston are eating because Kinsley likes to take food thinking that it's hers and Levi is not a fan of that. So that'll just go there. All right. Okay, so I'm gonna let Kinsley out. I'm gonna put up, put away all the tools, put things back because it kind of feels like it might rain tonight. And then uh, off to the doctor appointment tomorrow, back at working on the brooder, and then continue on with more of the checklist of things to do. So that's the game plan. I appreciate you guys watching. Two more days, Katie comes back, but you'll see her next week. So we'll see you then. Well, we'll see you tomorrow and have a good night or a good day or we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Did you have your dinner too, girl? Hmm? Did you have your dinner too? What a good girl. What a good girl you are. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. You, sir, need to stay in our yard. You do, but thank you for herding the sheep. That was great. You did really good with that. Yes, you did. And you're just a good boy. You're just a really good boy. Yes, you are. Thanks for herding the sheep. <laughs>